This is the Hot Tub Professor and what we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about what we call 2000 LE P3 boards. What I mean by P3 is it's technically a three pump. Now it won't really run three jet pumps. What it'll run is two jet pumps and a blower or it will run two jet pumps or it'll run uh, a jet pump and a blower or it'll run just a jet pump. This also has the ability to do a circulation pump as well so it can run a circ pump, two jet pumps and a blower. Uh, it will run a light as well and it actually has, if you look on here, uh, it has a, a 12 volt, it will actually do 12 volt output and there's a little jumper, a little shunt right here that you can pull and you can move it over here to 120 volt for running uh, old school fiber optics. So if you're replacing this board and you have fiber optics, you pull this little shunt right here. Uh, I don't know if you can get a close up of this right here, but there's a shunt right there. So that's the fuse for the light. So it's in that spot on the board. And all you do is, is more or less just pull it out. Now it's hard to do with just your fingers. Let's see if I can get it out. If I had a pair of pliers, I could get it out. But basically, that's what it looks like. And so you can see there's three pins. And all you're doing is shunting the pins together. It just hooks the pins together. So if you want it to be 120 and run fiber optics, you would simply move it up. There is a fuse here for that. There's a fuse here for the blower, which is normally going to be a ceramic. It will also have two fuses here. This particular board doesn't have them, but there'll be a 30 amp here, 30 amp here, SC type fuse. We offer these fuses in our uh, store as, as well. Um, the other thing that'll happen is you have these tabs right here can burn up. I still have some of these. I'm real low in stock and not going to probably be able to get any more. But if that's all wrong, is wrong with your board, this little, uh, uh, this little connection right here where your main wires go into it, we offer these in the store where you can buy them and solder them on the board yourself and repair it, or you can ship the board to us and we'll repair it. The other thing that we do is we offer, uh, we have a website called livehottubtech.com. And what that is is uh, where we have hot tub techs that actually work in the field, that, that work for our company, that go out and work on hot tubs every day. They can actually call you, FaceTime with you, Skype with you, do all those different things and walk you through how to repair your hot tub, how to diagnose this board to make sure you do in fact need a board. Now there is a cost to that, but we're going to save you money in the long run because we're going to be able to help you figure out exactly what's wrong with your hot tub and you're not going to waste time uh, just throwing parts at it. You can throw parts at a hot tub, never fix it. So especially if you're not sure that it needs a board or what it needs, uh, give our guys a call. Somebody can eat. We offer email support. We offer uh, telephone support, FaceTime, all those things. This particular board also has the, uh, the dip switches on the side right here. And you need to configure these dip switches to the way that you're dip switches were configured previously. So before you remove it from the pack, you need to look at these dip switches and make sure you set it the same way. The other thing that this board has is this is a non-M7 board, meaning it has a pressure switch like this on the top of the heater. So if you have a heater, it's going to have a pressure switch mounted into that heater. If it does not have this pressure switch, if it has a sensor that looks like this screwed in here and one screwed in down here on each end of the heater, then that is a M7 board. They make a P3 2000 LE non-M7, which is what you're looking at now, and they make a P3 2000 LE M7. So either way that you uh, find it, we offer both boards, so just look for which one. And the, the other one looks exactly like this. The only difference is um, this uh, connection right here for the temp sensors are both inside where this one has one outside and one inside. Um, and that's pretty much the only physical difference between the two of them. And we're going to show you this particular board is a 2000 LE R1C and the chips are going to have all different numbers over the years but the main thing is the 2000 LE part of the chip to make sure that you have the same thing. And it also has a board fuse right here. So if you took a lightning strike, if it's a miswire or something like that, a lot of times this fuse right here is the one that's bad. This is not a 20 amp fuse, 10 amp fuse, 30 amp fuse. This is a 3 tenths of 1 amp fuse. So you can't just stick another fuse in there because if you have a problem, you'll blow the board up and you'll have more problems. So just be very funny about that. The way you would check a fuse is just check continuity across it. Or if you have a voltmeter, uh, check for voltage between the two of them. If there's voltage showing, then the fuse is open if you check between them. 
especially in a 220 circuit. In a 110 circuit, that may or may not work out. Uh, but you could theoretically have uh, voltage here and voltage here and the fuse still be open unless you check across it or check continuity. So there is your lesson for today, kids. This is a 2000 LE non-M7 board by today.